most boys growing up in the 90s, Hunter's go-to food for years was chicken nuggets. While his palate has certainly expanded, he still, to this day, loves chicken. And nothing says welcome home when you come in the door like a delicious smell of roast chicken. And that's what we're having tonight. Many people are intimidated by a big raw bird. But believe me, once you learn to make roast chicken, you'll make it over and over again. It just smells so delicious as it's cooking and it tastes wonderful once you serve it. I've already rinsed the chicken with cold water and patted it dry and coated the outside all over with a good olive oil. You coat the whole body of the bird, the legs, the wings, everything with the olive oil. This will ensure that you have a beautiful brown bird. I've also stuffed some lemons into the cavity of the bird and I like to put a couple of lemon slices on the side just to hold the legs in a little bit better uh, as the bird is cooking. Just like that. The next step is to sprinkle the bird with a good seasoned salt. In the past I've made homemade seasoned salt but there's so many wonderful um, store-bought ones that I like now. I've used Adam's Reserve for years. It's a great um, spice. This particular one is their house uh, brand. It's wonderful on chicken. It's wonderful on beef or roast also. So I'll just start by sprinkling that on top of the bird. And you want to sprinkle it all over the bird. Oops. A good amount. Because this is what's going to give the bird flavor. You want it to really look almost like a crust of seasoning. Again, I just want to say I'm not getting any or giving any endorsements for these products. I just want to tell you the ones that I truly do like very much. The second seasoning I like to put is this Bragg's Organic Sprinkle. I've used this for years and it smells like the seasons. It's a uh, wonderful on chicken. Uh, it smells a lot like uh, the ingredients you would put in a homemade dressing and it, it just makes the chicken really super delicious. So we'll sprinkle that next. Mmm, already smelling great. Also add from the yard some rosemary. Uh, if you've never grown rosemary it's super easy. I grow mine in a large pot and it's just wonderful to have it to cook with. So I usually just stuff a little bit inside the bird. And then also by the leg. So the leg can get the flavor of the rosemary. You can put as much as you like. I like a lot. And the last step is to Sprinkle it liberally with some good sea salt. Uh, this particular Himalayan sea salt is crunchy, so it gives just an extra pop of crunch to the crust uh, when you serve the bird. Again, a liberal amount. A good salt can make the difference between a good bird and a great bird. And a little sprinkle of a good black pepper. And there you have it. So it doesn't look quite so scary now that we have it all fixed up. We're going to place this in a 425 degree oven for about an hour and a half. We're also going to accompany this with some vegetables, so we'll do that next. In the same roasting pan as the chicken, we're going to include some carrots for sweetness. These are baby carrots. And we're also going to have some potatoes with that. Uh, these are the what we used to call new potatoes back in the day. Uh, they're just small uh, red and yellow potatoes and they just go wonderful with the chicken as well. A rule of thumb for these small potatoes is usually about four potatoes per person will do the trick. I usually do about six because I like to have leftovers, but about four is just right. The first thing we'll do is to put olive oil on top of the carrots because we're going to put a season. And if you don't have some oil of some sort on there, and olive oil of course is delicious, the seasoning will not stick. I like to use this Fresh Success Roasted Potato Seasoning. Uh, they have all kinds of different seasonings. Uh, maybe you have a favorite potato seasoning you like. 
but this is the one I always use and everybody seems to love it. So sprinkle that right on. I put probably oh, a quarter of a package on there. Mix that up a little bit. And we're going to use the same seasoning on our potatoes and it's really just amazing. You would think they would taste just the same. You know, they both have the same seasoning, but the vegetable itself comes out and you taste the vegetable with just a little bit of snap from the season. So they taste completely different. So I'll add the potatoes now. Oh, maybe a few extra. Put a little more olive oil on the potatoes. A little more seasoning. I'll probably just go ahead and use the whole pack now. And mix that up. Mm. Smells good. It's noisy, but it smells good. Then we'll just pour it right into our pan. Put it on both ends. It doesn't matter if it gets right up next to the chicken, it'll just get all the delicious juices of the chicken. There, perfect. I also suggest that you use a dish similar to this. Uh, you want something that's deep enough so that the juices don't go all over your oven, but at the same time you want something so the top of the bird sticks out so it can brown nicely. So we'll put this in a 425 degree oven and in an hour and a half we'll have roast chicken. Here's our chicken fresh out of the oven. The potatoes look delicious, they're so tender looking and the carrots look juicy and wonderful. The bird is nicely brown and oh, I wish you guys could smell it. It's just, it's absolutely fabulous. As you're cooking it, if it becomes to look to you a little bit too brown, Put a piece of foil on top and that'll protect the top of the bird so it doesn't over brown in the oven. Another trick I've learned is you should time when you put the chicken on. As we said, it takes about an hour and a half from the time you put it in the oven until it's done. And you want it to be done about an hour before you're going to serve it. As soon as you take it out of the oven, put a piece of foil over the whole top of the chicken. And what's going to happen is the juice of the chicken is going to go back into the meat it'll be more succulent and juicy than it even is now, if you can believe that. So remember, you can make a roast chicken and it's worth it.